Welcome to Canyon Side Chat. I'm State Senator Rebecca Rios from District 27, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Victoria Steele from District 9 in Tucson. Senator Steele um, is here to talk about her efforts to have Arizona ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. Welcome, Senator Steele. Thank you, Senator Rios. So first off, can you tell Tell our viewers, what is the Equal Rights Amendment? Well, the Equal Rights Amendment is an amendment that we want to have added to the United States Constitution. It was introduced in 1923, and it's been 96 years in the making. And it is a very simple one sentence, 24 little words that have not changed in almost a century. Let me just read them to you. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Very simple, very direct and to the point. It seems very common sense, at least from my yes, position. It does. So can you tell us how many states still need to ratify the amendment to the Constitution? We need 20 or 38 states to ratify. We are at number 37. Yeah, we are so close. And well, you know what? We are so close that Arizona could be that 38th state. If we do, that's why I call this legacy legislation. If we are that 38th state to put it over the top, we will be in the history books. And I don't think there's a legislator in this body at this time, either party, that wants to have their grandchildren come up to them later and say, Ah, uh, boy, I'm, I think maybe, why did you vote that way, Grandma? Absolutely, and, and it would be nice to see Arizona in the history books for something positive. For yes, a change. yes. And so clearly, you've been very passionate about this issue, uh -huh. and you've garnered a lot of attention and a lot of momentum, um, but there are still those, unfortunately, that don't want to see this ratified, or those who say that it's too late to do so. So what would you say to them? There are a lot of people who over the years have uh, put out fearful things to make people afraid to do this. This is not about abortion. This is not about women in the military. This is not about gay marriage. This is not about any of the other fear tactics that people have tried to put onto it. This is about one thing, equality. Let me just read it again, see if you see any of those words in here. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged uh, by the United States or by any state on account of sex. It's very simple, and it doesn't have any of those scary things in. And as far as a deadline, there is no deadline on equality. Good point. So where are, where are we? Where is Arizona in the process? Well, we have a committee chair, um, Senator Eddie Farnsworth, it has been assigned to his uh, Judiciary Committee, and we've not been able to get a hearing on it. This has been put in year after year. We are keeping our fingers crossed. We are hoping he will change his mind and listen to reason. And, and you know, he's got some legal arguments, and they don't hold water. So we really want to have people call him and, and say, hey, please do this. Please give this a fair hearing. This is what they need to call him. Senator Eddie Farnsworth, and they need to call Senate President Karen Fan because this deserves a, a hearing. It just simply does. Absolutely. So, Senator Still, thank you so much for coming. My thank pleasure. you for your passion and your leadership in this issue. And for those of you out there that want to help, um, as Senator Steele said, go to the link that we'll show at the end here and um, press it and contact Senator Fan. Senator Farnsworth and tell them that you support ratification of the ERA amendment and that this should receive a hearing. Thank you.